Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor Mitchell from Dragon Rider Network, and today I'm here talking about WWDC 2012. We just got finished doing our live event, me, Tyler, Noah, and Matt, and we are now ready to talk about our thoughts on the brand new products that have come out from WWDC 2012. You can go check them out at their videos, but for right now, you're here with me, so let's talk about it right now. And so anyway, let's get started. So anyway, there were three major things that were brought up at WWDC. The Notebook line, Mac OS X Mountain line, and iOS 6. Let's talk about the laptops first. The new laptops that were introduced at WWDC were the new MacBooks that were recently updated. The new MacBook Airs are faster, offer turbo boosts up to, I believe, 2.7 gigahertz on the 11 inch, and I think uh, 3.2 gigahertz on the 13 inch but that might be for the 15 inch uh, MacBook Pros. They offer more memory, more storage, I believe up to 512 gigabytes on SSD which now outstores my current MacBook Pro which is amazing. The new 15 and 13 inch MacBook Pros, yes I don't believe there is a 17 inch focused on that anymore offer now an upgraded amount of memory and storage. They offer the same HDD hard drives and they now offer much more storage, faster graphics, and faster memory. But the big news out of everything was the next generation MacBook Pros. These are MacBook Pros that are much thinner, much better, much faster, and have a much higher resolution display. Let's talk about the display first. The display is now a Retina display, much like you would find on an iPhone or an iPad. This display is at 221 pixels per inch, making it over 5 million pixels on a 15.4 inch display. This MacBook Pro is record breaking thin because it no longer has an optical disk drive. It is now 0.74 inches thick. That is thinner than the original MacBook Air which is unbelievable. My thoughts on it not having an optical disk drive are is that most people at this point would not need an optical disk drive. We get most of our photos online, we get most of our movies online, we get most of everything online. We really don't need it anymore. And because of the Mac App Store, we are now getting most of our software online, which is unbelievable. This MacBook Pro now has way more batteries. It has six built-in batteries right into itself and this allows it to get seven hours of battery life and 30 days, 30 days of standby time which is unbelievable. Now let's start talking about Mac OS X Mountain Line. Pretty much kind of the same stuff that we saw back when Apple was introducing it on their website which is pretty much kind of the same stuff. Since I've had the developer preview for a while, it's pretty much not much has changed, but a lot more stability, including an iMessage, AirPlay for your entire screen, and a few things here and there, like Notification Center is now more improved, and of course, Facebook is carried over in uh, some ways here and there. But more than anything, the big news, obviously, was iOS 6 and the possibility of a new iPhone. As there was not an iPhone released at this conference, iOS 6 was definitely a crowd pleaser. Siri can do much more now when she can give you uh, the types of baseball scores, comparisons for sports, and movie tickets and movie show times. So anyway, Facebook is now even more involved with iOS now that it is involved in Siri and Notification Center. And being the way Facebook stock has been going lately, this is definitely what it needed. It can now have the ability for you to like certain things, share them out on your Facebook wall, and bring that social integration that people have really been wanting much more to the iPhone itself. Of course, the really big news out of everything was the fact that Apple is now dropping Google Maps from its own service. It is now bringing in its own map service, which might I say is absolutely beautiful. These are maps that are now 3D rendered and look absolutely 
amazing. These maps look incredibly realistic. You can zoom in, zoom out, rotate around buildings, and do multiple other things that really would have been almost impossible on Google Maps before. But now that Apple is developing their own, Google will honestly be worrying much more at this point whether people will be using Google Maps or Apple's new system of maps. So this will turn into yet another type of Apple and Google war. Overall, even though we didn't see new iPhones today, I do predict that sometime in the future, whether it be at a September or October event, we will see new iPhones, and that is almost guaranteed. So overall, I thought the event as a whole was exceptionally great. I thought a lot of stuff was shown that needed to be shown and that people wanted to be shown, including the new MacBooks and the new maps on iOS. So anyway, guys, that is my thoughts on iOS. Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, check me out on Facebook, and be sure to check out the website, dragonridernetwork.com. Anyway, guys, I will catch you at the next video. Talk to you then.